Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. The Sherryland Rattlers take on the Flower Mound Jaguars in the silver bracket of the first round of the 2013 Texas Invitational at Deer Park Watkins High School. Early in the first quarter, the score is tied at three, and the Jaguars' Colby Cox drains the three from downtown to make it six to three Jaguars. The Rattlers would keep it a close game, though. Patrick De La Torre throws the ball over everyone to sink the bucket. Rattlers trail by one. Later in the quarter, the Rattlers looking to score again. Patrick De La Torre gets the ball to fall in the basket to give the Rattlers the upper hand. They lead eight to six. Patrick De La Torre is on a roll. He shoots his third straight basket to make it 10-6 Rattlers. The Jaguars would keep this one a close game. They kick the ball the other way, threatening to score. Colby Cox hits the three from beyond the arc to cut the Jaguars' deficit to two. Just a few plays later, the Jaguars' offense goes to work again. Number five rebounds his teammate Colby Cox's miss, and he nails the basket to tie the game at 11. Still in the first quarter, the Jaguars go after the basket again. Number five puts another two on the board to give them the 13-11 advantage. The lead wouldn't last long. The Rattlers' Corby Von Rosenberg drains the three from downtown to give his team back the lead. The Jaguars have a response. Connor Green with the quick bucket to retake the lead, 15 to 14. The Rattlers continue to fight to keep this one close. Cantu Andres drills a three-pointer to put the Rattlers back on top, 17 to six. Later in the quarter, the Rattlers now trail by one. They look to retake the lead, but instead they turn the ball over to the Jaguars' Isaiah Brown, who takes the ball the other way for the Jaguars' score to extend their lead to three. Just before the end of the first quarter, the Rattlers try to even the score. Hinojosa Stevan is wide open for the three. He knocks it in to give the Rattlers back the lead, 23-22. to and just before the end of the quarter, Hinojosa Stefan does it again, sinking another three to put the Rattlers up 26 to 22 as they head to the second quarter. In the second quarter, the Rattlers lead by five, but the lead wouldn't last long. Off the Rattlers' miss, the Jaguars take advantage. Max Scheffler takes the ball to the house to cut the Rattlers' lead to three. 27 to 24, Rattlers still on top. The Jaguars even the score once again on this basket by number five. The game is all knotted up at 28. Later in the second quarter, the Rattlers cling to a one point lead, but the Jaguars aren't giving up. Max Scheffler rebounds his teammates' missed attempt, and he drops it in for two. The Jaguars take the lead 31 to 30. A few plays later, the Jaguars are threatening to score again. Connor Green takes the ball to the house to put the Jaguars up 33-30 to over the Rattlers. Moments later, the Rattlers close the gap to one with this layup by Zach Ramon. Rattlers trail 33-32. to But the Jaguars attack the basket right away. Max Scheffler with the bucket to make it 36-32 Jaguars. And the Jaguars continue to battle in this game. Off the Rattlers miss, the Jaguars' Connor Green takes the ball in for the score, 38-32 Jaguars. The Rattlers would claw their way back into the game. Hinojosa Stevan with another three to tie the game at 38. In the third quarter, the game is knotted at 49, and the Jaguars' Connor Green kicks it out to number five, who drains the three. Jaguars lead 52-49. to The Jaguars start to pull away in the second half with shots like this by number five, who hits another three from downtown. Jaguars lead by six. In the fourth quarter, the Rattlers trail by 13, but they try to get back in the game with baskets like this one by Patrick De La Torre. But the Jaguars don't let up on the Rattlers. Connor McDonald with another Jaguar basket to keep it a 13-point game. The Flower Mound Jaguars would take this game 74-64 to over the Sherryland Rattlers. Just want us to play hard and stay aggressive and always compete. 
don't give up. That's about it. We like to shoot a lot of threes, so that's our game plan. Just pressure the ball and try to get shots off, I guess. I mean, as we have to play deep because these guys are too fast and we can't put up with them. They're just too good. Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown.